Good afternoon. Today's graduate school commencement ceremony is being streamed live and also will be available on demand after the ceremony. The link for the live webcast and on-demand video for each commencement ceremony is www.k-state.edu forward slash graduation. Please turn your attention now to the video board for the opening of today's ceremony. Thank you. Welcome to Kansas State University's Graduate School Commencement. Graduate studies are the hallmark of a great research institution and serve society through the discovery of knowledge and creative endeavors. Kansas State University granted its first master's degree in 1871. Today, the university offers 107 graduate level programs to more than 4,000 students. Graduate students play a crucial role in the economic development of the state of Kansas, the country, and around the globe. It all begins with a passion for discovery, for learning, whether in the arts or engineering, in the lab, in the field, or in a classroom. This passion fuels success, resulting in prestigious scholarships, fellowships, patent awards, and scientific breakthroughs. With an esteemed and distinguished faculty to mentor them, the graduate experience at K-State is befitting a world-class institution. The mace, the robe, the hooding ceremony, are symbols of the high academic achievement these scholars have attained, placing them among the most learned people in the world.
Would you all please rise and join Tim, Mr. Tim Cassidy in singing our national anthem. Thank you, Timothy. You may all be, please be seated. Good afternoon and welcome to you all. We have quite a crowd to graduate this afternoon. My name is April Mason and I have the distinct honor of serving as the Provost and Senior Vice President of Kansas State University. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you to this commencement ceremony. Before we proceed, I would like to introduce the members of our platform party. Please hold your applause until everyone has been introduced. Beginning at your far left, we have James Geikema, Associate Dean, Graduate School. Ron Truen, Vice President for Research. Cheryl Polson, Associate Dean, Graduate School. Dwayne Crawford, Associate Dean, Graduate School. Jackie Hartman, Chief of Staff and Director of Community Relations. Warren Staley, Commencement Speaker and Honorary Degree Recipient. Carol Shanklin, Dean, Graduate School. Kirk Schultz, President, Kansas State University. Christine Downey-Schmidt, Regent, Kansas Board of Regents. Amy Button-Renz, President and CEO of the Kansas State Alumni Association. Taylor Wadin Wadian, President, Graduate Student Council. Jeffrey Morris, Vice President for Communications and Marketing. James Bloodgood, President, Faculty Senate. Continuing with our second row from your left, John Curry, Director, Kansas State Athletics. John Floros, Dean, College of Agriculture and Director of Kansas Research and Extension. Tim DeNoble, Dean, Architecture, Planning and Design. Peter Dorhout, Dean, College of Arts and Sciences. Ali Malexadeh, Dean, College of Business Administration. Debbie Mercer, Dean, College of Education. John English, Dean, College of Engineering. Virginia Moxley, Dean, Human Ecology. Lori Getch, Dean, 
University Libraries. Ralph Richardson, Dean, College of Veterinary Medicine. Sue Mays, Dean, Continuing Education. Verna Fitzsimmons, CEO and Dean of Kansas State Salina. Cindy Bontrager, Interim Vice President, Administration and Finance. Pat Bosco, Vice President for Student Life and Dean of Students. Christine Young, Assistant Provost, International Programs. The marshals for today's ceremony are Royce Ann Collins, Associate Professor, Educational Leadership, Brownwin Fees, Associate Professor, Family Studies and Human Services, Gerald Klutenberg, Professor, Agronomy, Stacy Kovar, Professor, Accounting, Kevin Lease, Associate Professor, Professor, Mechanical and Nuclear Engineering, and David Renter, Associate Professor, Diagnostic Medicine and Pathobiology. The reader for today's ceremony is Vincent Carlisle, doctoral student, educational leadership. It's my pleasure to introduce Christine Downey Schmidt. Regent Downey Schmidt was appointed to the Kansas Board of Regents by former Governor Kathleen Sebelius in 2005 and was reappointed by Governor Mark Parkinson in 2009. She currently serves as a member of the Board's Academic Affairs Committee and has previously served as a member of the CEO Assessment and Fiscal Affairs Committees. She, serves, she served as the Board's Chair from 2007 to 2008 and as Vice Chair 2006-2007. A former Kansas State Senator, Regent Downey Schmidt was elected to three four-year terms, serving from 1992 to 2004. As a state senator, she served as the ranking minority member of the Ways and Means, Education, and Agriculture Committees. Regent Downey Schmidt serves on the boards of directors for the Dyke Arboretum of the Plains in Heston. She serves as the co-chair of the Education System Coordinating Council. And in addition, she is a member of the Kansas Institute of Peace and Conflict Resolution in North Newton and the American Association of University Women. She has served as a member of the Kansas Educational Leadership Commission and the Kansas Arts Commission. Regent Downey Schmidt and her husband Gordon have four married children and eight grandchildren. She enjoys traveling, gardening, and I will emphasize gardening. I once called her at home and had to wait a little bit as she came in from the garden. Reading and being a grandparent. Please join me in welcoming Regent Downey Schmidt. President Schultz, members of the faculty and staff, Kansas State University alumni, friends, family, and most of all to you, the graduates, good afternoon. I am honored to bring you greetings and best wishes from the Kansas Board of Regents and to express to you our pride in your accomplishments. The board governs and coordinates the Kansas higher education system, including the community colleges, the technical colleges, the State University is in Washburn. I've been on the Board of Regents for eight years and I'm coming to the end of my eighth year. And I have to say that participating in commencement greet and bringing commencement greetings is one of the most enjoyable aspects of this job. So thank you for the invitation to be here with you today. Now, I have been warned about talking too long so that you start to feel like not only have you earned a diploma, but you've gotten your AARP card. <laughs> they also told me that a yawn is a silent scream, 
But I'm going to ignore that because I think that might have more to do with what you chose to do last night. The other thing is, this day is about you. So I want to spend just a minute talking about this great university that's going to hand you a diploma in a few minutes. First of all, no less than the Princeton Review says that Kansas State University is one of the best schools in the country. And you rank first among states in the last 25 years in total Rhodes, Marshall, Truman, Goldwater, and Udall scholars. You also rank as the first choice of the Kansas high school graduates. And not only that, 97% of graduates from this university say it's good enough that they would recommend their friends to attend to. You have record amounts of research funding and alumni giving. And the Wildcats have been tremendously successful on the court and on the field the third school in the Big 12 history to win Big 12 championships in football and men's basketball, and who knows, after tomorrow's game, today's game, maybe three. And coaches, you have the best. Coach of the Year, Bill Snyder and Bruce Weber. And you've had the largest enrollment increase in the system. Now, all those achievements aren't accidental. They only come after hard work by faculty and staff and with, visionary, with a visionary leader. And President Schultz has provided outstanding leadership in the past few years, and the K-State 2025 strategic plan has unified and focused this campus to achieve even greater levels of excellence in the future. The master pl planning efforts, the development efforts, and the growing enrollment are examples of the successful leadership at this university. Now, this is an exciting time for you in the regions. I want to join you this afternoon in, in praising your accomplishments. Julia Woodruff, in a 1914 book, called this kind of moment as being out of the strain of doing and into the peace of the done. And this is the time to rejoice, and I know you have done that and you will do that. But it's also time you're going to need to set new goals. And I have to tell you that I think opening a new chapter in your life at this time in our society presents you with daunting challenges or tremendous opportunities. These times demand individuals who have the capacity to think clearly and critically, to make wise decisions and act in humane, responsible, and collaborative ways. We need individuals within our communities as well as the workplace that can take the intellectual initiative can communicate effectively, and who are willing to keep on learning. Higher education is absolutely the best way for the citizens of our society, no matter what their origins, race, gender, social status, or economic background, to improve the quality of their own lives, to raise the standard of living for their families, and to contribute their talents to communities. But the aim of higher education goes much beyond helping graduates like yourselves to succeed professionally, as important as that is to you and our society. I believe that higher education's larger mission is to prepare you to actively serve the collective good in your communities and strengthen and enrich the world around you. Your degree symbolizes the preparation to meet these challenges. And during the time that you've been here at Kansas State University, your professors, mentors, friends have helped you build and strengthen your skills and your abilities. And we expect great things from you. As a region, I want to challenge you to combine your unique talents with the skills that you've learned and refined here at KSU to not only improve your life, but also the lives of those around you. Make a commitment to civic responsibility. Jefferson is the one that said, we in America do not have government by the majority. We in America have government by the majority who participate. And if you choose not to participate, you are ceding your voice to others who may not have your best interests in mind. 
Commit to the belief that we can make a difference. Our individual contributions add up to a whole that's much greater than the sum of the parts. And with a society that's experiencing so much divisiveness on so many fronts, it is critical that you commit to help your community and the world. I also hope you'll continue your education. Simple as it sounds, we forget that education continues throughout a lifetime, and learning doesn't stop when you leave this campus. But instead, it takes place when you are most engaged, not only in seeking answers, but helping to define the questions that need to be asked. It's a lifelong journey, so don't stop now. I wish each of you happiness and fulfillment wherever your chosen path takes you, and I sincerely hope that you will actively seek ways to reach beyond yourselves to help make this world a better place. Thank you to the faculty and staff here at KSU who have dedicated their efforts to students and in so doing have made their contribution to a better world. On behalf of the Kansas Board of Regents Class of 2013, congratulations and best wishes to all of you. Thank you. An honorary degree is among the highest honors a university can bestow and thus is reserved for those who have made extraordinary distinction and who have contributed in very significant ways to advance the quality of life for our citizens and the world. It is therefore with honor and great pride that Kansas State University recognizes an outstanding leader, Mr. Warren Staley. Please turn your attention to the video board for a brief introduction of Mr. Warren Staley our honorary degree recipient and commencement speaker. A remarkable journey by a remarkable man. Warren Staley's journey began in a blue collar neighborhood in Springfield, Illinois. His father worked for the railroad. His mother was a teacher. Together they created a home of integrity, work and community. Several summers Warren spent near America's Kansas on the farm of his aunt and uncle, Willis and Helen Houston. During those summers, he made several visits to Kansas State University with his uncle. So when it came time to decide where to go to college, Kansas State was familiar, a good fit. A friend recommended he join a fraternity, specifically Beta Theta Pi. Warren credits this decision as a major influence on his success, both in college and later in life. He served as chapter president, interfraternity council president, and was a member of Blue Key. He also met his future wife, Mary Lynn Haymaker. In 1965, he received a bachelor's degree in electrical engineering. While attending Cornell for an MBA, he spent a summer internship in Minneapolis with Cargill. After earning his MBA, Warren was offered a Ford Foundation Fellowship to work in Cali, Columbia. But before leaving for South America, Warren and Mary Lynn were married. Both of them were struck by the disparity between rich and poor and came away with the belief that you have to have a safe environment, a common culture, and you have to teach and develop people. It was only the beginning of their global experiences. In 1969, Warren joined Cargill. He admired its diversity and global reach. By 1978, he was promoted to the company's European branch and after four years in England, was offered the head position of operations in Argentina. Those five years in Buenos Aires, a time of hyperinflation, military and political instability, turned out to be great training, helping prepare him for leading the company in a rapidly changing global marketplace. When I became CEO in the late 90s, it was pretty clear that although it had been a great organization, the world was changing, probably changing faster outside than inside Cargill. And we really needed to make some changes that we all kind of knew about. We came together, debated, decided the path we were going to go on, uh, got everybody pulling in the same direction, uh, starting with employees and getting people to understand that it started with the employees who helped the customers. It was about being a very good partner in the communities where we worked. By August 2000, he added chairman of the board to his title. In 2004, Warren asked his wife what she wanted for her birthday. 
She said she wanted the family to spend a week building houses for the poor in Mexico. It happened to be the same week as Cargill's biennial management meeting. Warren decided to go build homes with his family. I think one of the most important things to understand about leadership is that it's not about what you say, it's about what you do. How you behave in a very consistent manner. Uh, it's about stepping up and stepping out. It's simply about doing the right thing. From leading the world's largest private company to building homes for the poor, financing small loans to individuals in poor countries, and supporting education here and abroad, Warren Staley exemplifies what it means to be a leader, authentic, ethical, and consistent with a vision of making the world a better place. He has shared so much of his life, experience, and wisdom with the Kansas State family that we are most honored to have him here today. His remarkable journey continues. Please welcome Warren Staley. Mr. Staley, for your leadership, your character, your humanity, and your goodwill, by the authority of the people of Kansas and the Kansas Board of Regents, and upon recommendation of the Kansas State University faculty, I am pleased to confer the Kansas State University Honorary Doctor of Philosophy degree with all of its rights, privileges, and respons uh, responsibilities. Congratulations. Congratulations, William. Thank you. Thank you. you bet you. Very kind. Can you turn around? Turn around. Back or the front? From the back? Go ahead. Warren, down turn this way. We're going to make you walk around. Okay, come around here. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mr. Staley, would you please take this opportunity to offer some remarks to our graduate and to this audience? President Schultz, thank you very much for this honor. Uh, I thank all of those that didn't vote against me getting this honor because I understand some of the other faculty got to opine about this. Uh, I have to thank my uncle and my grandfather who brought me here up to uh, Weber uh, probably in the 1950s when I was thinking about whether I would go to high school or not, uh, and to my aunt and, and my grandmother and then uh, my parents really encouraged me as to teachers to, to come to college and end up at Kansas State. And as I was thinking about it, you know, think, thanking my parents, they're the ones that really got me here. Well, then I got to thinking, they got me out of the house at age 18. My wife's had me for almost 50 years. So, Mary Lynn, thank you. Congratulations uh, to the masters and PhD candidates today on your hard work because it is hard work uh, to earn your degrees. As you head out into the world, I can guarantee you three things, and some you've heard about already. One is, graduating from K-State, I assure you, you can compete with anyone, anywhere. I've seen so many of my colleagues that left Kansas State and ended great things. And at Cargill, where I worked for many years, Kansas State is still the number one institution uh, for Cargill sourcing recent graduates. And that's because the graduates from K-State are well prepared. Most importantly, they do really well on the job, and, and that's what it's, it's all about. Second, this is just the beginning of the end of learning. And you probably already know that, but you have no idea what that means. As I look back, I figure the time decay of my engineering graduate, my engineering degree, was probably no more than five years. And I spent the rest of my career learning, in many cases, just to keep up and learn new sciences, new technologies. If you're going to be successful, you're going to be learning all of your life. And third, the only constant in your life is going to be change. Since I graduated from this institution, 
there have been many significant changes, just so many. A few, the internet, absolutely astounding what that's done to change the world. The growth of China, which I tracked and spent a lot of time doing, so probably have a greater appreciation than many for that. The doubling, more than doubling of the population since 1965, and also the dramatic doubling of crop production, which a lot of people at Kansas State uh, helped see happen and has been so, so important, and we're going to have to do this again between now and, and 1950. For most of you, this graduations mean you're going to be leaving this campus and you're going on to make a living. So go on, make a living. That's what you got your degree for. But I'm here to tell you, and this is most important, the making a living is not the same thing as making a life. Today I'd like to share some thoughts with you about how you can enrich your life and the lives of the people around you as you go about making a living. All you have to do is get involved. It seems to me that the purpose of what we all do in whatever our field of endeavor is to improve people's lives, not only our own, our own, but the lives of those around us. The purpose of our formal education is simply to prepare us to contribute to making the world better. I grew up in a working class, blue collar neighborhood in Springfield, Illinois. Growing up in Illinois, you studied about Abraham Lincoln from the first grade on. You knew everything about Lincoln by the time you finished eighth grade. He was a leader I studied my whole life. He didn't have a formal education, yet he educated himself and became a great president and a leader. And I'm going to underline that word, leader. Leaders bring about the necessary change which does improve people's lives. Lincoln said, and I quote, I hold the value of life is to improve one's condition. The U.S. is a country based on the idea that a person's birth does not determine their destiny. Our amazing work ethic is predicated on the assumption that enterprise and effort lead to ascent. And I certainly believe that from the time I left Springfield for the rest of my life. But as a young person, and starting when I was very young, in my neighborhood, I was curious why some people would step up and others would always hang back. And it was very blindingly obvious, the difference. So watching my father, I saw a role model of a man with very little education, he didn't get to finish high school, who was always doing things for other people, always volunteering to join an organization and taking a leadership role, always willing to take a stand. He had the courage to step out and take a risk. So observing my father and studying about Lincoln led me to conclude that leadership is not only important, it is absolutely key. And that leadership has little to do with formal education. Whether you have a formal education or you don't have a formal education, anyone can be a leader. My thoughts about leadership are based mostly on my lifelong experiences including some very good lessons I learned from my time as a student. I was able to be in situations where I could practice my leadership. The outcome was not always as I envisioned, and there's no doubt that in my life I learned as much from the things that didn't go well as the things that did. Now you all have an advanced degree, a formal education, and that suggests to me that people around you, in your place of work and in your community, are going to have an expectation for you to be a leader. A friend of mine, Bill George, who was the CEO of Medtronic, retired early because he wanted to teach at Harvard and to write. In Discover Your Authentic Leadership, Bill wrote about the research he conducted, which concluded there is no clear profile of the ideal leader, that no one can be authentic trying to precisely imitate someone else. People will trust you, because you're genuine and authentic, a person of integrity, anchored by values and inspired by a vision of a better world for all. Leadership is about having the courage to step forward and do the right thing. It's what someone does, not what they say. It's about actions, it's about engaging, 
It is dealing with people. It's not dealing with things. It has nothing to do with charisma or personality traits. The key characteristics of an authentic leader are integrity or ethical behavior and courage. I think of all the attributes in life, courage is the most important. Nelson Mandela, who certainly demonstrated courage in his life, has been quoted as saying, courage is not the absence of fear, it is inspiring others to move beyond it. Perhaps early on in your career, a leadership opportunity will present itself. Your reaction may be to stay out of the fray, concerned what others may think, what they may think about you. One of my favorite quotes that addresses this very concern is by Marianne Williamson, and I quote, our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that frightens us most. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? There is nothing enlightening about shrinking so that others would feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shine as children do. We were born to make manifest the glory of God that was within us. It is not in just some of us, it's in everyone. As we let our light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. Leadership is about change, and change is almost always uncomfortable. So I would like you to remember, in the years ahead, when you take on a leadership role, your task is to make people successful, not comfortable. It won't work. So how do you learn to be a leader? I suggest you can read about good leaders, you can learn from leaders around you, watch what they do and how they do it, Watch when someone's leadership fails. What went wrong? Early in your life, find a leader you admire and trust and talk long and openly with that person. You will learn an amazing amount. Hardly any of us is a born leader. Almost all of us learn from others how to be a good leader. You're only going to get better and adapt your own style by taking on a leadership role and engaging. There's no other way. It takes desire and time, and it simply takes practice. And don't be afraid to fail. The greatest failure is failure to act when action is needed. And history shows many examples of that. Winston Churchill comes to mind. Churchill had just become prime minister in May of 1940 when the, the uh, skirmishes, the battles had already started on the continent. Uh, and everyone around Churchill was urging him to negotiate peace with Germany, with Hitler. Churchill had very firm resolve and believed fervently that that would be a huge mistake. For him, negotiating peace with Hitler was unthinkable. And in June, shortly after he became prime minister, he didn't have any time to get ready for that, he gave his famous speech in the House of Commons where he said, we will fight in the beaches, we will fight in the streets, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. One of the famous speeches in history. So just think how different the world would be if Winston Churchill had failed to act in that summer of 1940 at a very frightful time in the history of the world. To be a great leader, it's really important that you do the small things consistently. Don't ever miss an opportunity to write a thank you note, congratulate someone for something well done, visit a person in the hospital, have coffee with someone that's battling a personal issue or fighting a disease. Maya Angelou said it well, quote, people will forget what you said, People will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. And I can tell you from time to time I run into people and I still get feedback 
from people telling me about something years back. Most of the times I forgot about it and how good it made them feel. So you're all fortunate to receive an education at Kansas State where you also learn very good values and associated with some of the most decent people on earth that you'll ever meet. Now is the time that you begin to prove that you can make a difference. Your education has opened doors to your future, and I challenge you as you create a life to create a world of possibilities for others. I hope you will take time when it fits to help a nonprofit organization, and I hope you'll give back financially to this university, uh, to organizations uh, that you support when you're able. And I also hope in our changing world that you'll take time and make it a point to travel to other countries, and if you ever get an opportunity that you'll take it to live for a while in another country outside the United States. I wish you success and fulfillment in the coming years and hope you will look for opportunities to develop people in leadership. So I'll close with a quote from Woodrow Wilson, who was a Princeton graduate, went on to get a, a degree in law, and then earned a PhD at Johns Hopkins. And after that, entered into an academic career. He became president in Princeton in 1902 and stayed in that position until the end of that decade and served as president of the United States from 1913 to 1921. And I quote, you are not here merely to make a living. You are here to enable the world to live more amply, with greater vision, with a finer spirit of hope and achievement. You are here to enrich the world and you impoverish yourself if you forget the errand. Thank you. Mr. Staley, please accept this gift of appreciation for being our commencement speaker today. Please join me in thanking Mr. Staley for his inspirational commencement address and con to congratulate him on his honorary doctorate. Congratulations. Thank, thank you. you. Very nice. Be very nice. Thank you. Please join me in welcoming Amy Button Renz, President and CEO of the K-State Alumni Association, who will bring us greetings. Thank you, Dean Shanklin. I'm pleased to be a part of your special day and offer congratulations on behalf of 170,000 graduates and the K-State Alumni Association. It's an honor to personally congratulate you and present you with an exclusive pin as you walk across the stage. And I want to welcome you to the K-State Alumni family, even though many of you may already have a degree or degrees from Kansas State University. I'm also pleased to be able to share with you that in recognition of your graduation, Dean Shanklin, the Graduate School and the Alumni Association will be presenting you with a one-year membership in the Alumni Association. This membership will keep you engaged and informed about Kansas State University, and we hope you will always be an active member. We look forward to providing you a link for life. That may be through the K-Stater Magazine, it may be attending an alumni club event or a sporting event, but we want you to stay connected to your alma mater. Go State! Taylor, will you join me at the podium to bring greetings from the graduate students? Taylor is the president of the Graduate Student Council. Hello, there's a lot of you here today. All right, so good afternoon. On behalf of the Graduate Student Council, I want to offer my sincerest congratulations on receiving your graduate degrees today. It is an honor to be part of today's commencement ceremony and to recognize the hard work and accomplishments of graduate students at K-State. As your graduate student president, I've had the distinct pleasure and honor of working closely with many of you. And I want to extend a special thank you to those of you who have served in a leadership and or service role within the GSC. And also to those of you who have participated in activities and events hosted by the Graduate Student Council. Without your involvement, the Graduate Student Council would not be the organization that it is today. It is your service and participation within the Graduate Student Council 
that has contributed to increasing the quality of graduate student life here at K-State and making the overall graduate student experience the best it can be. Congratulations on your accomplishments and best wishes for a successful future. Thank you. Thank you, Taylor. As a research institution, Kansas State University has a responsibility and obligation to provide not only a truly outstanding undergraduate education, but to offer advanced education to students who have ambition and intellectual curiosity to deepen their knowledge and the command of their discipline. As our graduates know, this pursuit is a demanding yet invigorating process. I anticipate that each of you today graduating will remember this time in graduate school, as I still do today, as one of the most exciting yet humbling times of your career. Many have contributed to, complete, to your completion of your advanced degree. Your family, the friends and colleagues you've made while at Kansas State University, and many others. Graduates, please acknowledge those who have supported you in your pursuit and completion of your advanced degree. Another important group we need to recognize at this time is the students' mentors, the graduate faculty of the university, who have worked closely with these graduates and have contributed in many significant ways to the completion of the studies that, studies that, that we're recognizing today. Graduate faculty, please stand so we can show our appreciation for your mentoring of these graduates with a round of applause. Thank you for your service and for being here to support the students today. Ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived at the point in the ceremony to recognize the degree candidates for their terminal degrees. These candidates will advance to the platform to be hooded. We believe it is appropriate that this final ceremonial honor is performed by the student's major professor in recognition of the contributions the faculty has made in the development of these scholars. The graduates will then be presented their diplomas. Candidates receiving the degrees of Doctor of Philosophy and Doctor of Education, please rise and remain standing. President Schultz, on behalf of the graduate faculty of Kansas State University, I am pleased to present to you the doctoral degree recipients of spring 2013. By the authority of the people of Kansas and the Kansas Board of Regents, and upon recommendation of the graduate faculty, I'm pleased to confer Kansas State University degrees upon you, the graduating class of spring 2013. Congratulations. Candidates, you may now be seated until the marshals direct you to stand, be hooded, and receive your diploma. Doctor of Philosophy in Agronomy, Dawn Refsel, hooded by Anita Dilley. Doctor of Philosophy in Animal Science, Eric Bailey, hooded by K.C. Olson. Kevin Miller, hooded by Jim Drulard. Siddhartha Torres, hooded by Christopher Reinhardt. Doctor of Philosophy in Grain Science, Lian Chen, hooded by Praveen Venkata Vladen.
Dennis Ray Tilly, hooded by Badriraju Subramanyam. Doctor of Philosophy and Horticulture, Anthony Lee Goldsby, hooded by Stuart Warren. Doctor of Philosophy in Biochemistry, Ying Ding, hooded by Annalise Wynn. Doctor of Philosophy in Biology, Caitlin Lee O'Neill, hooded by Raleigh Clem. Susan Rolfsmeyer, hooded by Carolyn Janine Ferguson. Doctor of Philosophy in Chemistry, Chen Lin, hooded by Christopher Culbertson. Eve Mito Tui, hooded by Christopher Culbertson. Kassir Prashai, hooded by Christopher Culbertson. Doctor of Philosophy in Economics, Zajun Law, hooded by Philip Gale. Doctor of Philosophy in History, Joe Anthony Dredger, hooded by David Stone. Brian Daniel Lasley, hooded by Donald Morosik. Paul Arthur Thompson, hooded by Michael Crisco. Doctor of Philosophy in Mathematics, Andrew Canzino, hooded by Andrew Bennett. Sharad Sawal, hooded by Charles Moore. Doctor of Philosophy in Microbiology, Vijayalukshmi Iyer, hooded by Lynn Hancock. Doctor of Philosophy in Physics, Adrian Marie Madsen, hooded by Sunjay Ribello. Doctor of Psychology in, of Philosophy in Psychology. William Trey Hill, hooded by Gary Brazier. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy in Security Studies, Zheng Zhen Yun, hooded by David Graff. Jerome Tan Sabayan, hooded by David Graff. Sean McCormick, hooded by Andrew Long. Doctor of Philosophy and Statistics, Samuel Seth Damel, hooded by Joanne Du. Lian Ching Jung, Hooded by Gary Gadbury. Doctor of Philosophy in Adult, Occupational, and Continuing Education, Raymond Lee Freeby, hooded by Jeff Zakrakis.
Lieutenant Colonel John T. Selman, Jr., hooded by Franklin Spikes. <laughs> Doctor of Education in Adult Occupational and Continuing Education, Jamie Richard Schwant, hooded by Franklin Spikes. Charles D. Vance, hooded by Sarah Jane Fishback. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy and Counseling in Student Development, Melissa Marie Briggs, hooded by Judy Huey. J. Michael Finnegan, hooded by Doris Wright Carroll, co-hooded by his father, Michael Finnegan. Sarah K. Kearns, hooded by Christy Kraft. Doctor of Philosophy in Curriculum and Instruction, Christine Marie Hernandez Reyes, hooded by Gail Schroyer, co hooded by Tweed Ross. Bekor Kamal. Hooded by Rosemary Taylor. <laughs> David Allen Lowen, hooded by Michael Pearl. Joy Allison Martin, hooded by Lada Larson. Ashley Rhodes, hooded by Gail Schroyer. Doctor of Education in Educational Leadership, Wu Wei, hooded by David Thompson. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy in Biological and Agricultural Engineering, Henry Furman Bonifacio. Hooded by Ronaldo Magirang. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy in Chemical Engineering, Sean Richard Tomlinson. Hooded by Jennifer Anthony. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy in Civil Engineering, Ranjith Gadavarthi. Hooded by Eugene Russell. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy in Electrical Engineering, Siddharth Deshmukh. Hooded by Bala Nataranjan. Nicholas Rosevere, hooded by Bala Nataranjan. <laughs> Junjiao Li, hooded by Don Gruenbacher, co hooded by Katrina Skogli.
Ali Sidney, hooded by Katrina Skogli, co-hooded by Don Groenbacher. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy in Human Ecology, C.J. Aducci, hooded by Joyce Baptist. Adriatic Lixani, hooded by Sandra Smith, co-hooded by Farrell Webb. Adriana Cicada Drake, hooded by Jared Anderson. Doctor of Philosophy in Human Nutrition, Trixiana Dismore, hooded by Dennis Medeiros. Casey Grant Weber, hooded by Mark Hobb. Doctor of Philosophy in Physiology, Stephen Wesley Kopp, hooded by Timothy Munch, co-hooded by David Poole. Congratulations to each of you and best wishes in your future. Now it's your turn. I know you've been waiting patiently. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now award the various master's degrees. Candidates for the master's degrees, please rise and remain standing. President Schultz, on behalf of the graduate faculty of Kansas State University, I am pleased to present the master degree candidates, recipients for spring 2013. By the authority of the people of Kansas and the Kansas Board of Regents, and upon the recommendation of the graduate faculty, I am pleased to confer Kansas State University master's degrees upon you, the graduating class of spring 2013. Congratulations, graduates. Candidates, 
You may be seated until the marshal directs you to stand and receive your diplomas. Please remember to bring your reader cards with you. Master of Agribusiness, Anthony Robert Bartholomew. Donna Brooks. Nancy Elizabeth Dash. Travis Shane Davis. Juan Pablo Finelli. Brandon Mitchell Garrett. Grant Good. Michael Kempke. Sage Kim. Ronald Gerard Vargas. Master of Science in Agricultural Economics. Matthew Abbott Harrington. Caitlin Heather Lau. Deja Manuffy. Laura Catherine Teague. Kyle Dean Waldy. Master of Science in Agronomy. Ingrid Arns. Nathan Ryan Keep, Master of Science in Animal Science, Carrie E. Bates, Scott L. Hill, Jessica Ashley Jones, Carrie Lynn Ottoman, Garrett William Preedy, John Pretz, Anna Siverson, Claudio Fabian Vargas Rodriguez, Christy O'Reilly, Master of Science in Food Science, Mark Pierre Bianchi, Kelly Brown, Alma Judith Mendoza, Jody Carlene Bondron, Master of Science in Grain Science, Ashwarya Dalifan, Rayona Ashikiri, Blossom Seigel, Master of Science in Horticulture, Travis Rex Carmichael, Lisa Joanne Stork, Master of Architecture, Jeju Dean. Fan Naihao. Kevin James Steen. Brittany Weiser. Master of Landscape Architecture, Sarah Justine Craigfin. And Rebecca Hudley. Catherine Jane Malaski, Master of Arts in Communication Studies, Melanie Pekanek, Lori Mae Stewart, Master of Arts in Economics, Cheryl Namingnet, Master of Arts in English, Dorian Cochran, <laughs> Diploma presented by her father, Dr. Alfred Cochran. Ashley Denny, Megan Deppner, Alexander Rice Evans, Palabi Gupta, Kylie Kinley, Brian McCarty, 
Lucia Novais. Jessica Reyes. Elizabeth Rose Sim. Catherine Whaley. Master of Arts in Geography, Will Butler. Bohua Ling. Joshua Mueller. Master of Arts in History, Jessica K. Smith. Teresa Young. Master of Arts in Modern Languages, Catherine Elizabeth Brinkman. Alicia Goheen. Mark Gorecki. Christina Marine Saunders. Chelsea Urban. Master of Arts in Political Science, Jesus Nguazo. Carrie Lorraine Schaefer. Master of Arts in Security Studies, Andrew DeForest. Douglas Graham. Anna Renee Newman. Renee Swan, San Juan. Jason Shin. Master of Arts in Theater, Jamie Lynn Ansley. Dylan G. Artzer. Elizabeth Ann Cardi. Meredith Kathleen Gagich. Sabah Zaran Jura Rizvi. Trusen Unmari. Monica Jean Finney. Rebecca Elizabeth Preeb. Ross Lincoln Stone. Sir Marie Tomcat. Master of Music, Timothy Cassidy. Shane Nelson Galantine. Jane G. Jessica Rose Luchek. Patrick Sullivan. Master of Public Administration, Stephanie Haley. Tim Huang. Jonathan Kruger. Matt McNabney. Christy Mendelhan. Mendelhall. Master of Science in Biochemistry, Zen Li. Master of Science in Chemistry, Krishani Mashohari Devaditra. Master of Science in Geology, Kate Elizabeth Amrine. Master of Science in Mass Communications, Carmen F. Brown. David V. Chartren. Lindsay Nicole Elliott. Travis Hassler. Catherine Therese Lopez. Master of Science in Mathematics, Michael Allen Reb. Master of Science in Physics, Wes Erbson. Master of Science in Psychology, Laura Adar. Andrew Marshall. Master of Accountancy, Stephen Anglis. Ro Liang Bao. Alex Bensi. Hillary Tekla Amina Boyle. Sydney Janine Case. April Lynn Coons. Brett Thomas Eisenbarth. Blake Gerwick. Michelle Elizabeth Lafrenner. Lou. Kirsten Londine. 
Yan Lu. Kelsey Annette Matthews. Thomas Joseph McGowan. Stephen Rodney Mintz. Hannah Marie Peterson. Amanda Lee Pickett. Carly Pierce. Alexa Marie Sakaguchi. Joshua Ryan Squaggle. Scott Soptic. Jacqueline Spawn. Ian Michael Tolson. Erin Jane Tuey. Jamie Lynn Welsh. Chen Wu. Jing Yu. Master of Business Administration, Max Apple. Whitney Bachman. Jane Bauman. Laura Dillon. Fiona Fu, diploma presented by her father, Dr. Ming Fu. Holger Stenmark Gobel. Asayi Igaro. Craig Matthew Johnson. Ja Lua. Joseph Rush. Jaweed Samsor. Adam Setter. Yang Song. Prabhakar Thinarasu. Christine Ann Thompson. Cole Walker. Dusty Willard. Dao Dao Zhang. Master of Science in Academic Advising, Stacy Marie Griffey. Katie Bonner. Lori Elizabeth Johnson. Wendy Marie Lala. Drew Applegate McIntyre. Catherine Elizabeth Pearson. Jane Marie Ridge. Pamela Joyce Ross. Allison Simmons. Caroline Shirley Walling. Master of Science in Adult Occupational and Continuing Education. Amanda Akers Vornholt. Patrick Almond. James Bush. Miriam Brunson, Paul Berg, Michael Brown, Joe Contreras, Stephen Chadwick, Jill Ann Deutscher, Ethan Patrick Dial. Eric Dye. Yeah. Catherine Ann Fallour. Michael Gephardt. Kevin Michael Jickus. Richard Z. Groen. Luke Jacobs. Carrie Gilmore. Matthew Lillibridge. Timothy Brennan Lynch. 
Reginald L. Mackey. John Marvin Nash VII. Troy Ryder. David Michael Riddleman. Brandon Timothy Rooney. Michael Frederick Rutherford. Latanya Dinkin Stewart. Richard Allen Stewart. Loletta Marie Sump. Charles Clifford Turner III. Melissa Miles Walls. Lee Spencer Wallace. Don Dolores Woods. Master of Science in Counseling and Student Development, Elizabeth and Katara. Kirsten Joy Andrews. Kyle Thomas Bach. Eric Bailey. Lacey Renee Bangert. Naima Brown. Melissa Ann Drunsmore. Catherine Chels Chesley. Ralita Cheeks. Kaylee Trey Gibbs. Jessica Julia Hartigan. Adam John Isley. Joseph Michael Lynch. Eric Moy. Michael Patrick Muller. Savannah Michelle Knowlton. Zach Orr. Margaret Roquet. Jennifer Schulte. Abe Tennant. Jacob Adam Turnus. Master of Science in Curriculum and Instruction, Asma Almadi. Erica Daniela Arnold. Donna Lynn Bond. Karen K. Bluell. Teresa Yvonne Childress. Kaylin Jaylee Hoppy. Catherine McMahon Kramer. Naurul Shada Mat Saman. Shelby Lauren Mua. Mandy Stoltz. Master of Science in Educational Leadership, Seth C. Ellis II. Master of Science in Special Education, Tracy Ann Hayworth. Haworth. Master of Science in Architectural Engineering, Samuel Dalton Haig. Sean Michael Hood. Master of Science in Biological and Agricultural Engineering, Chelsea Rose Corkins. Kristen Renee Hale. Lisa Marie Hillstock. Kyle Henry Lenabor. Jeremy Carl Meeks. Lorinda Luray Molenkamp. Ginger Pugh. Master of Science in Civil Engineering, Srikanth Akapati. Matthew Lucas Arnold. Nishitra Naveen Kumar Bezwada. Brian Charles Boots. John Michael Handke. Amir Momeni. Paul Tackett. Siddhartha Kodi Kola Pudi. Ephraim Drar Miharna. 
Haritha Musti. Nat Velasquez, Jr. Augustine Francis Wirtz. Master of Science in Computer Science, Tejashi Batula. Anuba Garb. Dayu Jiang. Somya Kakudapu. Krishna Kiran. Nirapuma Misala. Leela Anushka Nukala. Vijay Saru. Mulari Vupturi. Joshua Levy Wiese. Master of Science in Electrical Engineering, Derek Martin Brown. Hermias Kudus Gabriel. Gabriel. Emmanuel Cassetti. <laughs> Alareza Afiat Milani. Asi Pempa. Avik Sengupta. Wen Sung. Master of Science in Industrial Engineering, Leslie Ann Eng. Jordan Beaver. Wen Sin Chen. Nolan Garrett Howlett. Bushan Uza. Uday Ulamanchili. Master of Science in Operations Research, Jason J. Shorenson. Colin Williams. Master of Engineering Management, Yosef Alswadi. Aaron Donahue Carpenter. Jeremy Lowell Dandler. Master of Software Engineering, Shailaja Chipcha. Sindhu Thadakura. Master of Science in Apparel and Textiles, Kelby Lorraine Pulfer. Master of Science in Dietetics, Bridget Ann Sheehan. Master of Science in Family Studies and Human Services, Jane Ellen Best. Lindsay Sandquist. Hilary Rose Betson. Sheridan Crawley. Anne Elizabeth Hartman. Maggie Heger. Trista Lay Heenick. Lisa Christine Bloom. Rachel Lindstrom. Chelsea Deanne Link. Roxanne Lee Martins. James Minner. Kale Monk. Sarah Lynn Pale, Caitlin Leah Pixler, Hannah Seiwert, Caitlin Celia Sparkman, Johnny Lynn Trammell, Eric Nicole Wainwright, Master of Science in Food Science, Hospitality Management, and Dietetics Administration. Shung J. Amber Ashley Grissomore. Master of Science in Kinesiology, Jamie Lee Allen. <laughs> Jeremy Keene. Carrie Lynn Laughlin. Erica Lynn Levitt. Evan Terrell Rapp. Gabrielle Ellis Reiko. 
Benjamin Kaylee Stuknik. Joshua R. Smith. Matthew Sullivan. Master of Public Health, Asha Boali. Michael Patrick Banfield. Abby Lynn Banks. Christina Bonnelly. Kimothy Choma. Sarah Catherine Coleman. Jing Han. Paige Johnson. Joseph Scott Leitner. Yong Lu. Aleta Smikali Sinwa Nindlal. Michaela Schenkelberg. Kellan Jean Schroeder. Ryan Zetkowski. Marai Ahmed Alaidi. Jose Antonio Vallas. Congratulations to each of you. We wish you all the best as you go out into the world and make your mark. We hope each of you will stay engaged with Kansas State University, seek opportunity to serve as mentors to students, keep your mentors updated on your successes, and recruit more excellent graduate students to Kansas State University. Remember, you are our best ambassadors and recruiters. I encourage each of you to be active members of the K-State family by sharing your talents and your gifts to support future graduate students and to enhance the graduate student experience. Please join me in recognizing the K-State Spring 2013 graduates one more time. I would like to take this final opportunity to express my sincere appreciation for all who have contributed to the success of today's ceremony. I'd like to thank the marshals, members of the graduate school team, the staff in marketing and communications, and the provost's office who have worked very hard for an orderly conduct of the ceremony this afternoon. Above all, on behalf of the faculty, I want to thank you, the graduates, for sharing a part of your lives with us. We invite everyone to join us for a reception on the concourse near section six. We ask the audience to please remain seated until the graduates, the faculty, and the platform party have made their way to the concourse. Now please stand and join me 
and, and Mr. Timothy Guesty in singing the alma mater as we close our ceremony. The words are printed in the, on the third page of your program. I know a spot that I love full well. Tis not in forest nor yet in dell. Ever it holds me with magic spell. I think of thee, Alma Mater. KSU will carry the banner high. Thy colors fly, loyal to thee, thy children will swell the cry. Hail, 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 alma mater.